According to the previous video, we got the working principle of the two colored motor gun, but it doesn't look good, so it was demolished and upgraded. And the voltage multiplier goes like this. Then we also, you need a circle, just enough to fit your ring finger. Ring here I am, using 20 millimeters thick PVC. Line pipe through, because it just fits right into my ring finger. But it's too long to use a whole word. So mark the length of 21 millimeters first, then cut it off. The current size and length of both, it fits my fingers quite well. Wait for the modified voltage to double the gas. The body also fits very well. I'm going to use an electric kettle lighter next, because its circuit is more mini, and more stable performance. Take it apart first, just take it to the circuit board inside. Except for transformers and charging ports, other parts are not used, so the battery, two switches, and two triples. Remove all one of the tubes. Just keep it. A transformer drive circuit is enough. Then, use a cutter to cut the circuit board into four small pieces. Pay attention to avoid electronic vital parts here. Don't damage them. Then follow the position of the ring. Arrange as much as possible inside. The position of the circuit board to be placed. It is possible that the first floor cannot be placed at all. These four little circuit boards, that's okay. And we double layer it as we fly the line. Just stack it like this. So at the middle of the electric board, there's room for other things. For example, a 3.7 volt mini earphone with a small battery, but it can only accommodate up to five parallel connections. And then there's the hidden touch. Push the switch beginning, the charging port removed from the circuit board. Plug it with plastic film mud first, to prevent the glue from leaking in when waiting for the glue injection. There is also a mini wave switch, mainly control the power on and off of the entire device. And the transformer on the arc lighter. Then we follow the wiring method of the previous video, just connect it. At this point, two thirds of the whole production has been completed. The entire circuit is compact. The hardest part is the circuit board flying wires. It took me a full five hours to weld. Almost had to start all over again. Fortunately, it is more resistant to falling. This is also a 50 millimeters diameter PVC wire pipe. You can usually buy it at hardware stores. Cut out 21 millimeter sections. It just fits on the outside of the whole device. Compare the good position and hit one one centimeter long, two millimeters wide, and a square four millimeter hole. Rectangle holes for discharge. Square holes for installing tacked switches. Then we first discharge the two high voltage lines. Pack up. Then you can glue him next. Here I'm using quick drying epoxy branches. After mixing the proportions, stir for about 5 or 6 minutes, and then slowly pour it into the mold. First time using this fast drying epoxy branch. It feels so bubbly, shouldn't it roll over? Completely dry, after 5 hours, it looks okay from the outside. Let's get this straight. Take out the plastic mud on the switch. And plug in the two control wires of the switch to prevent it from breaking when it is polished later. First, use the rough sandpaper of solid wood to align the plane. Quick surface grinding and we attach it to the drill. Align the sides and start sanding and his two sides are rounded. After the rental film is completed, Replace it with 1,500 acres of sandpaper. Then to the beginning of 3,000 would finely ground. But then you have to wet the sandpaper with cold water. Because it gets hot easily. Start polishing with 7,000 steps at the end.
I'm solo dancing on your party. Crazy on my own, but all in. I can feel the eyes all staring. But I don't care about them saying. I was born a misfit. Don't go with the cool kids. It's all overrated. No, I never missed it. I was born a misfit. Don't go with the cool kids. It's all overrated. I just didn't need it. I'm a lot of I'm a la 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 la